Hey guys, Bing here. Um, today let's uh, let's do a very uh, quick one. So uh, I'm going to sh show you how to copy family parameters from uh, one family to another family. Okay, so let's start. So first, I'm going to um, just uh, create a general model. So okay, so in this generic model so if i go to if i go to um family types so so you you will see currently there's no uh except this one uh, default uh, elevation so there's no parameters so now let me just um let's pretend this is a, a family with some parameters so i'll just create some parameters so for example uh, i'll add so l i'll call it l1 so this uh, will be a length parameter so let's call so add another one l2 and also uh, i i want to add some uh, different type of uh, a parameter so for example it will be a text text parameter so let's call it t1 and another one t2 Okay, so oh, sorry, I forgot to change the type. So make sure you change you, you pick the correct type because you won't be able to change it once you create it. Okay, so we need to delete and create a new one. So T two, change this to text and okay. Okay, so now this is a family with these four parameters. So now I'm going to create another one. So another uh, family. So another. Let's just uh, use this generic model template. Okay. So now we have two. One family one, family two. So family two. So currently, there's nothing here. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to copy this parameter into this uh, family. So usually when when we do um, uh, in project, so uh, when we try to copy something or copy some standard or type uh, such as uh, line style or those settings, so there's something we can use. So it, uh, it's transfer project standard. But for this for family, uh, you won't. Be able to do it so let me try so if i open uh, this is a new nothing here so if i try to transfer standard so this so you won't be able to find any parameters because this is more for project so okay so now let's go back to this family so what we can do is so of course you can just uh, add the parameters yourself so try to match the all the names everything but the easiest way is you can just create a geom geometry to and then copy the geometry into the other family so for example this one we have a uh, text and uh, dimension so what we can do is uh, we can find a geometry which uh, contains these two type of um, property i think yeah so let me just so we can use model text because if this model text so you will see this is a text type uh, um, property so we can link this to this t1 and t2 okay so um before before that, uh, actually, uh, uh, we need to add something into it because we can't have a blank uh, parameter. So so I'll just type in something, type in something, and also the dimension. I'll just type in something uh, instead of a zero, and OK. So now we can select this model text, and we can link this text uh, to this T1 parameter, and also we can use this depth and link link this to L1. Okay, so now we can just copy this one 
and link this to T2 and link this to L2. So now when, if we select these two, control C and go to this family. So current, currently there's uh, nothing here. And if I control V, paste, and then go back to family types. So you will see all these parameters are here. Okay. So, and also now you can delete it, delete them and the parameters are still here. So it's it's um, it's very similar to a material. So we know that if I create a material in this, so let me just create a material. I'll just create a new material. I'll rename it uh, M, M1, okay? So M material one and okay. So you can just apply that material to this to any geometry so in this case this uh, model text and then copy it paste it and then it will uh, you will see this m1 so be paste into this family okay so similar to the parameter okay so um yeah i think that's that's it <laughs> Um, maybe let's try, let's try, try another one. Okay. So for example, this one, I'll create another different type of parameter. So let's say material M, I'll call it M1. And let's try another type, uh, oh, sorry, wrong one. Maybe, um, yes, no. Okay, so this, so uh, usually we use a yes, no for visibility. So I'll call it a B1. Okay, so now I'm just going to, so we have a material, we have a visibility. So basically any, any geometry, we can, we can apply those two parameters. So I'll just do it extrusion, and finish it and select it and link this material to this M1, link this visibil uh, visibility visible to that yes, no parameter. So now I can just, so let, let me just go to this family. So this, it's not here, M1 and V1 and go back to this family, control C here, control V paste and then go to family type v1 and m1 so now you can delete this geometry so this these uh, parameters uh, are here in this family okay so that's that's it um and um if if you find a better way to do this please let me know okay so that's it Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.